So in the summer months, we try to instill in our kids to be a Kiddush Hashem, as this young girl is going to try to live up to. And on Shabbos Kodesh, and this young boy, we, we're discussing the opportunities, especially when we're traveling, when we're going to the park. If you're in the park and you see paper wraps, especially with Hamisha Hashgachas, and you pick them up, and you put them in the garbage, and if you're scared of germs, you take another, another tissue or something, and you pick them up, and you put them in the garbage, that's an opportunity to be a Kiddush Hashem. If we make sure that we don't throw anything in the garbage, if we act in a very special way, we say thank you, we say good morning, we make sure to act appropriately, that's all opportunities to be a Kiddush Hashem. And in Shabbos Kodesh, when I was speaking in Shul, I asked a question, what does Kiddush Hashem mean? What does the term Kiddush mean? I try to ask my kids all the time, before Friday nights, we make Kiddush. Kiddush is a mitzvah d'oraisa. It's a positive commandment, and therefore we have to know what we're doing. So when a person makes Kiddush, if we don't know the definition, we can't define the term, it's difficult to fulfill it. So I try to ask my kids before Kiddush, and you could ask my kids and make sure they know it. Kiddush means to designate a time or a place or a person for a greater awareness of Hashem. So when we speak about Kiddush Friday night, we're speaking about designating a time to remember that Hashem created the world in six days and He rested on the seventh and He took us out of? Mitzrayim. Mitzrayim. Thank you. Why? Because that's the concept of Kiddush. And we were speaking about the power of Kiddush, especially when it came to Oig Melech Abashan. There was a guy named Oig. And the Zohar HaKadosh says something so powerful. The Zohar says, why is it that Moshe Rabbeinu was scared of this guy Oig? We know that Moshe Rabbeinu, after 40 years in the Midbar, and his entire history of leading the Jewish people, to be scared of a guy named Oig doesn't make any sense. He was, able, he was the greatest Mekubal. As the best Mekubal around, which uses all the secret names of Hashem, Moshe Rabbeinu took the Arab Mitzri in the beginning of his 40-year career. So certainly he could take care of Og. And we explained based on the Zohar HaKadosh, Oig Melech Abashan had something special. He had a bris with Avram Avinu. In fact, the Zohar says that the reason why Oig Melech Abashan, Oig, the king of Abashan, thought he could take down Moshe is because he had a bris. He had this reshima, this mark, this sign of Kedusha before Moshe Rabbeinu. And the only reason why Moshe Rabbeinu felt confident after Hashem told him, don't be scared of him, is because Hashem said to him, he has defiled his Kedusha. He's not anymore walking around with the sanctity that he could have had. Every one of us has the opportunity to have, to live with the Kedusha that Hashem has given us. And part and parcel of that means is that whatever we do, we show and we help people see a greater awareness of Hashem. So that's have an amazing day. Shavuot Tov.